Thank you so much for watching. Before we get into it today, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this video, follow me on Instagram at felix.levine, and if you have something to say, please leave a comment. Now let's get into it. And we're live. Evan Luther, thank you, uh, sir, for taking the time today. I'm, I'm super excited to, to have you on my show, especially on short notice and and everything that's been going on in the in the BitClout crypto world in the past, you know, 24, 48 hours, um, especially last week uh, and the last five years, too. But uh, I'm really happy to have you on my show, and uh, thank you for taking the time today. Definitely, man. Pleasure to be here. Um, let me know how I can be of assistance. Hopefully, I invite the people listening in. So I think first and foremost, um, you know, I, I obviously uh, looked into you a couple days ago when I first kind of found out about you and your story, and I and I was fascinated to hear you know everything you had done, especially at such a young age. I think my my first question to you on just a, on a personal level, um, you know, you're you're 26 now. Uh, what has it been like? You know, I mean, you've been pretty much nonstop for the last what 14 or so years, probably more. Um, have you had a second to kind of? sit back and uh, enjoy the fruits of your labor fully. I mean, I know, you know, if people follow you on Instagram, they see that it seems that you're at least enjoying the fruits of your labor, but I don't know if you've had a time to to reflect and, uh, you know, really take it all in from the past 15 plus years. Um, yeah, I mean, um, if you ask me if, I'm, if I had time to reflect, definitely, man. I mean, uh, even though I'm doing a lot of things at a lot of times in a lot of different places, a lot of different people, uh, I have the freedom to do what I want, when I want, and how I want. And that is my number one priority, is my freedom. So I always keep that very close to me in any, anything I do. And if I lose interest in something, I walk away. And I spend a lot of time reflecting. I have a lot of free time. Uh, contrary to what most people may think, uh, I, I buy time. I buy time with all the wealth and money that I make. One of my biggest uh assets that I purchase is time. So I do have a lot of free time and that allows me for a lot of self-reflection. And actually that's also why I'm getting better and better at investing because I'm understanding how the world works and like your podcast, where, where things are going, right? <laughs> so uh, that only happens when you're actually able to self-respect and work and build upon that. So definitely that's how it is. Yeah. Now, I, I think it's interesting uh, to hear your take on that because, you know, obviously, as you said, contrary to what probably most people think, um, you know, people would imagine to be you to be very, very busy. And I know there are probably times where you are very, very busy. But for you, when you say buying time, what does buying time look like and, and how do you go about it personally? Uh, buying time in very simple terms is you set an hourly rate for yourself. You think this is your hourly rate and then Anytime you have to do any of the menial tasks, like washing your laundry or stuff like that. And if you think that thing's going to take this much time and uh, if you can decide, is this something that you want to do yourself or outsource and hire somebody to do it for you? If that, if the cost to outsource is lower than what you are making, what you, you were potentially making, then, then it, it, it makes sense to outsource and not do those things yourself. So this is what I, this is what I tell people um, well, that's how you buy time is actually getting other people to work for you and deliver results for you. So you don't have to do all the grunt work yourself. So that's when it comes out of buying time. I mean, end of the day, I have 200 engineers working full time for me, building products and solutions that I get a lot of the credit for because I'm the one who's in the face and I, get, I take them to market. So I, I'm buying their time, right? I'm buying their time to work for me. When you pay a salary to somebody, you buy their time. And for you, when you, uh, you know, to, to get to, to the position you're in today, I'm more curious about what now your daily schedule is looking like now that you're outsourcing, you know, the things that you don't want to do or you don't have the time to do, what your daily, you know, schedule looks like as a, as a manager of sorts. Uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, my schedule is, is is very, very haywire because before COVID, I was doing 120 flights every year for the last five years. So I was in a different city different, uh, every other day. And the, and the schedule will change around meeting people, interesting people. I never eat alone, so always eating with interesting people and finding opportunities that I can invest in and companies that I can empower and the companies that I can help grow. So and I, I've, used, I, I've, I've spoken to hundreds of events uh, and a lot of the times I was also speaking at events um, and then also managing with my team and following up on what, what's the, what, what our companies are doing and how, how, how much progress they're making. Uh, 
right now it's 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 getting back almost to that same level where I've been traveling a lot, getting around a lot. Obviously, there's not a, that many in-person events anymore, so it's a lot of Zoom calls and podcasts right now, like we're having right now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it really depends. I decide my day when I wake up. I try to keep my calendar very very free. I don't try to fill up my calendar with. Uh, things that I can delegate to other people. And I only pay my attention to things that I really want to do myself. And that's that's how the day goes. And I have the freedom to change things around. I mean, I walk away from a business or investment or company or a task at, at any time uh, without any regrets if I have lost interest. If I lose interest in something, I'll walk away without a, without a regret. Now, for you, when you're, you know, because I've I've watched a lot of your interviews over the past kind of 24, 48 hours uh, to get to to learn about you. Um, and one of the things that, you know, is obviously the main thing thing and people that follow you and, and, and know your story is, you know, how many different businesses you've started, um, invested in. I mean, just been a part of period. Um, and I think that that's fascinating. My question to you is. At this point in time, what are you looking for when you are either going to A, uh, you know, start investing in a business or B, you know, start start another one of your own businesses? What, uh, you know, what's the mindset and, and what are the, some of the key things that you might look for uh, as, you know, a serial investor? Uh, I, for me, I look for various different things. Uh, it depends on the, on the stage of the business that I'm getting involved in. I personally prefer g- getting involved at the earliest stage, which is the idea stage, when companies are just starting out, because that's when we can add the most strategic value. Because I don't like to just add money. I like to I like to add tremendous strategic value on top of money, and we can do that. I have the resources to enable that and do that. So, th- so we get to mostly at strategic at, at the pre-seed level. What you're really looking for in companies is who's behind it, who's the people, because in all the companies I've been involved in, and I've invested in over 100 companies, private equity wise, and over hundreds more in tokens, uh, all the companies that I invest in, uh, they all pivot, right? They all change, they all adapt to the market. So the entrepreneur who's leading the team, the organization is very, very important. Does he have what it takes to keep going in the face of all obstacles, stay persistent? towards his vision and his goal of achieving that he's actually started out to achieve. So the team is extremely important. And also the market that the product is operating in. Uh, Niche ideas are great, but if you want to scale, I look for companies which can go from zero to 100x in three years, right? I don't care if there's only a 1% chance of success and 99% it'll fail. But if there's a 1% chance they can go 100x in three years, I'm in. Right? That's I, I look for the moonshots and and then I look for companies which can create a positive impact. Companies, we can really change the world and make the world into a better place. Because end of the day, money is a byproduct of creating value. The more value you create for others, the more money you make for yourself. So the focus is to see how these companies that I get involved in, how they can keep uh, adding value and how the, and how they can make a positive impact in the world and what is the change that they're bringing in. Were you always this, um, you know, I guess, A, driven, but also B, uh, have the entrepreneurial spirit um, your whole life? Did you imagine that when you were, you know, eight or nine or 10 years old, that uh, this could be uh, the route that you would go down? Uh, so I, I, so right now, um, I, it's, it's very hard to predict the future, right? When people ask me, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Or like, that's this kind of question you just asked me. I always tell them like, this is my life motto. It's in all my bios. This is, it, the best way to predict the future is to go build it. Right. And that's what I'm focused on right now. So I'm focused on building companies that work well with each other, that grow with each other and that create this world a better place. And that's what I want to keep doing. And I, from, if you asked me 10 years ago, uh, I was 16 and I was already relatively quite successful at 16. I was already making a bunch of money. Uh, but if you'd asked me at that time, would I see myself where I am right now in 10 years? No way. I could have never told you that. I had big dreams and big visions. So I always knew I was going to end up on this journey. But to actually visualize it and, and comment on this where I stand right now would be very hard. But what I've learned, most people actually underestimate what they can achieve in 10 years and overestimate what they can achieve in two. So what I've learned over the last few years from my own experiences as far as you focus on building and adding value, the results will show up. No matter what, the results will show up. So my goal is to keep doing what I'm doing. And as far as I keep enjoying it, yeah, keep doing it more and more. The goal is to enjoy what you do. If you don't enjoy what you do, then anyways, it's not going to be worth it. At what point did you realize um, that idea of, you know, 
underestimating or overestimating your potential in, you know, two or 10 years? Was there, was there a point in your life that you realized that, oh, maybe I can do more than I thought I could? Or, uh, you know, you know, how, how have you calibrated your vision uh, as you've gotten older and more experienced? Well, for one, Bill Gates said that quote. So it's not me who came up with that quote, but it's true. I realized that with my own life. It just took me a lot longer to realize. I wish I'd realized it earlier on. So I would have been able to uh, estimate better where I would be. But you actually, when you self-reflect, that's when you realize this, right? It's it's easy to connect the dots when you look back. Uh, as for your question, what point did I realize this? Is I realized this uh, quite recently, you know, I mean, I've seen how much growth I've made over the last few years. And I know I'm, I'm I and I'm, I'm now I'm in a position where before I used to go out for opportunities, I used to make time to meet people, right? I used to have to make time according to other people. It's very different now. I, now I have, I have inbound opportunities and people are coming to me. And this is an exponential stage, right? I'm in the technology space. Technology grows exponentially. It doesn't grow on a linear scale. It doesn't grow 10, 20, 30% every year. It grows zero to 100X in three years. And that's why you've seen technology take over every single industry in the last decade or so, right? All the biggest companies in the world today are tech companies, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Google, right? They're the biggest companies in the world. So, I mean, uh, that's that when as I start realizing how technology is taking over and I'm right in the center of it, and then I'm realizing now, yeah, I can, I can achieve far more in 10 years than I could have done in two years because I've set myself up for success. There's another interesting quote that you can that people talk about is, you know, give give somebody if, if somebody gives you an axe to cut a tree, and you have six hours, the first four hours you should spend sharpening the axe, mm -hmm. and and it, that that's another way to that's another parallel to this is like, uh, you once you if you want to see tremendous growth, put in the time it takes to put it get that tremendous growth, and that's what happened with me too, right? I'm I'm at that point right now where I have so much inbound opportunity. My struggle is seeing what opportunity I want to capitalize on, right? Versus before initially when I started out, I had to look for opportunities and go after opportunities, create opportunities. And I, I this, I mean, don't don't listen to this. Anybody listening to this and start think start thinking that opportunities come to you. You have to create opportunities, right? I've already done that for myself, where I've, I've built up this level where opportunities. I've created so much opportunities that keep coming to me now. Uh, so that, that, but initially I did, I did have to work out there, go out there and create those opportunities. So that that's the way I see this. Yeah. Now I'm also curious, um, you know, because as you said, all these opportunities are coming to you and also, you know, you've grown this, uh, really a huge following on, on Instagram and, uh, you know, for people out there that, that haven't seen your Instagram, it's a, it's a good time. You know, it's, uh, I, I personally enjoy your Instagram and I'm sure that a lot of people do as well. Um, but you also, you know, portray yourself at least on the on the social medias as you know really enjoying life partying all of that do you feel like in some ways uh that's also maybe added some pressure to you or uh you know that all of that att attention has been all positive or do you feel like uh you know at least from a business perspective that um you know there there's it also adds this layer of uh expectation and stress that you have to hit you know certain marks or certain fame or certain money uh to live up to some of the you know the images that you'd put out on the internet of yourself uh well no expectations i don't really care what people think about me uh so uh, i i I'm, I'm so i don't really care what people say cuz it doesn't make any difference to me uh, what people say, what people care. It barely makes any difference. Um, I know that most of the people who are smarter than me and who actually care about what they say and the goal, people I respect, uh, they don't have time to base a decision on Instagram. They only care about how much how much value I can add to them, right? That's what most people at the end of the day care, how much value I, I can add to them. There are instances where having an Instagram life like that has resulted in a little bit of an issue with a business deal. I, I, in, for example, in Dubai, where people are like, how can you be in a yacht party and then come uh, come to this business meeting <laughs> like that? I'm like, it doesn't matter to me because as far as I know, people are doing business with me, they're doing business with what I bring to the table, right? right. And nothing I do in life changes that fact. Nothing I do in life. If I'm out on a yacht and that's writing the article that I'm going to publish on Forbes or Cointelegraph, it doesn't make any difference. It's still going to go on Forbes and Cointelegraph. It's still going to inspire those people. Right. The only difference is I'm riding on a nice yacht versus <laughs> sitting inside a, a locked room. Uh, so I like to enjoy my life, mate, because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, is you want to have the best time you can have on this earth that you have because you don't know what happens tomorrow. Nobody knows that. So 
So I like to enjoy my life that the way that you're going to die tomorrow. But at the same time, I build and I focus on building and live forever. Yeah. Right? Well, so you build, build and focus on building a legacy that you're going to live forever. But at the same time, I want to I want to I want to push that out to people that hey, you want to live your life the best you can. So enjoy the moment while you can because you don't know how long the moment lasts. And to be honest, like. End of the day, social media. Most of the audience is very fickle-minded, right? They get in, they get many, many played it pretty easy. They get inspired pretty easy. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of hate. There's a lot of haters who come up and see this, and they get jealous, and they're like, "Why does this guy get to have all the fun, and why do I don't get any of this fun? I work so much harder than him." I mean, yeah, but that, I, I go after opportunities which are asymmetrical. It's not about working hard in this world. It's about working smart. There's a few opportunities that come around every once in a while. For example, right now in the crypto space, like Big Cloud, that you get you get asymmetrical gains. You get you make a lot more money for the amount of effort you put in, versus generally you when you look at a job, you get paid an hourly wage depending on how much effort you put in. So if if I'm able to capitalize on that, then that's because of my that's because I could do it. No, everybody else is the same opportunity too, and the right people, the people who are watching this and hearing this they can also get inspired because i got, i started from nowhere i didn't have any of this before my father when he started out he didn't even have a single car he used to bicycle everywhere he used to go so my father is a self made entrepreneur coming from nothing and then i see him and me myself i didn't have any of this and i wanted all of this things so i made it happen you know and i think anybody else can also make it happen so it really depends on the person watching and what's the what's the support system they have around them what's the mindset that they have do they want to look at this and they want to get inspired they're like if this guy can do it why can't i do it right or they want to look at this like why is this guy having all this fun and why am i not having this fun hey, that sucks you know i mean i i was used by as by google india so the managing managing director of google india when i was 17 i built the app for google india they used me as a tool they put me on stage and in front of 50000 people live in person and said all, all across the country they were doing google ios in india google g days in 2012 and they put me on saying this 17 year old can build apps why can't you build apps right right so if google can do that and if google can put that up uh then that just that just if google can use me as a marketing tool and then why not why not people can't get inspired it, it, so it's, it depends on the person and what's the mindset they have the people who have a narrow mindset are going to are going to see me and they're going to get uh, pissed off and maybe a little bit jealous, and that's okay to me. It's not going to make a difference to my life. I'm still going to have the nicest things I'm going to have. It's, I'm not nothing's going to change in my life. I'm going to have all the things I'm going to have, and probably even more. I'm still going to keep growing. But yeah, the dudes who do get inspired and they 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 listen to what I'm, then maybe they change their life, and then they come back to me later and they say, and this is what really keeps me going. They come back to me and say that you changed my life. I saw you and I was like, I want to do this. And then I got into this. I, a lot of, I got a lot of people into crypto and Bitcoin because I've been talking about this for years. And I get so many DMs these days. Like every day I'm get, I get a bunch of DMs. Like where I have people like, you changed my life. You made me, I, you gave me financial freedom, blah, blah, blah. And like, it's all, all that, right? I mean, so I, I do share tips too. I, I mean, I talk a lot about, I mean, most of the deals I get in are limited. You can't get into them even if you wanted to. But I do share the public deals I get in. And I do tell people, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is a good opportunity. Get in. I told. I talked about Big Cloud before anybody else in the world was talking about Big Cloud. Mm -hmm. I, I was a seed investor in Big Cloud, mm -hmm. right? So I invested pretty early on. I got Marion into Big Cloud too. <laughs> I got a bunch of other people on there. So, I mean, it, it's. I've already. I've already made a five hundred percent of my my. But the opportunity still exists. Right. A lot of people are lazy. They'll see this and they'll they'll just ignore my stories. They'll not sign up. Even I've told them ten times. This is the opportunity of the decade. Sign up right now. Yep. Ninety-nine percent of people won't do that, but that's their that's their mindset. That's them. That's them not having the ability to go ahead and have that success. Now, so I mean, that's a, I guess a perfect transition into BitCloud, which is one of the real reasons and uh, that I had kind of stumbled upon. I mean, it was like a weird thing because so the person that you're referring to, Mario, um, who I have who I had on my show, uh, I think. That I'll probably re release this right before I release Mario's episode, um, so people stay tuned for that. But uh, Mario Knopfel, who's a, and also a, a serial investor, really smart guy, really uh, a really great guy too. Um, you know, you guys are friends, and I, I think probably work together in some capacity as well uh, with this whole BitClout thing. 
it was one of the reasons that I kind of stumbled upon it and then, you know, invested in it and invested in, in your, uh, bit clout. And so I kind of want to pick your brain a little bit with that. Um, because obviously you, you know, a lot about it probably far more than I do and probably far more than 99% of the population. So for the casual person out there that's listening, that hears you say bit clout, um, you know, very quickly, how do you describe bit clout to people who aren't familiar with it? So uh, the best way to describe this to me is like a Twitter, but every profile has a has a coin attached to it, right? So every individual now has a coin and has an economic value attached to them. Everybody in the market can go and buy and sell that coin like an open stock exchange. So every individual becomes a stock and the, if people trust you, they buy your stock. If people, wanna, if people think you're going to grow in value, they'll buy your stock. If people think you're lying and you're not already delivering on what you, on your commitments, they will sell your stock. They'll dump your coin. So this opens up a whole new plethora of opportunities for creators because uh, the way the, the way the way I see this going is now everybody uh, somebody like me, right? I mean, uh, somebody wants to get on a call with me. I charge a thousand dollars an hour just to get on a call. You got to pay it up front. Right. And let's say I do that call and I was distracted. I didn't add value to you. You're not going to get any of the money back. But as a creator now, I could I could change that model. The thousand dollars is not it's, it's it's not I don't ask for that money because it's gonna make a difference in my life. I just ask it so I can weed out all the all the all the other people who are just trying to get attention with no serious topics to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. So it's it's not it's it's just a barrier that was said. But now I can make the change the barrier into something like you wanna get on a call with me, buy go and buy my coin. Right. And then once you get on that call. Buy my coin for 10 grand. And once you get on that call, if I don't add value for you, you can go and sell that coin right after. You can dump that coin, right? Because you, I, in a way, I wasted your time. Worse is if I did add value to you, you go and buy more of my coins. Right. So now, and this is just one of the ways I'm telling you, and, and all these people I just told you, like who have been texting me, like DMing me that I changed their life. I got them into crypto. I, I got them the not right tape or the right coin, blah, blah, blah. And like, there's no way for them to say appreciate this or even give back. Right? I'm not. I'm not a fund manager. I'm not a licensed broker dealer. I don't. I don't. I don't give financial advice. So they can't give me a commission. They can't say this is a part for you because you gave me this tip. All they can say, but now with Big Cloud, they can start going and supporting my coin, because for one of the gains that I'm making for them, they can start going supporting my coin. So that's just one of the ways I see this going. And another big way. I, I see this going also uh, is, is with like politicians, right? I mean, a lot of these politicians make a lot of claims. They don't deliver but and they make so many lies. But right now you can go and unfollow them if you don't like them. But with now you can go and buy their coins and actually support them. And then if they don't deliver, dump them, mm. crash their price. You have As a community, you have that ability. Right. I mean, look at what's been happening with GameStop, right? I mean, right. Wall Street Bet. These guys, like com as a community, is a very powerful tool. A community is a very powerful tool. If you don't respect your community, they will come back to you and bite you in the ass. Yep. So I think with Big Cloud, all this becomes a lot more open. It becomes a lot more decentralized. Right. And it becomes a lot more accessible for the average person to get access to. Now, I look, I agree with all those things. And and I've been, uh, you know, really studying it the past couple days and, and week um, because I'm fascinated by it. And another detail for people out there that are, that are listening, uh, that's another really cool feature is that when you buy a creator's coin, right? So I have my own coin. Uh, Evan has his own his own coin. Everyone that's on the platform, I believe, can have their own coin. Uh, you are able to get 10% of what is invested into you. So that also adds some, some value for the creators um, to use for themselves. So that's something to note. And I think the other interesting thing, uh, and this is what I want to run by you and get your take on it, is because it's such a new platform, because We've seen heavy, heavy volume, even in the short amount of time. There's obviously a lot of red flags. One of them being that uh, as of today, uh, you know, it's still new. So they're they're trying to incentivize people to grow the platform, to really just buy and uh, not yet really kind of cash out all of their, their money. What kind of red flags do you see? Um, because at the same time, you know, I think it's important for people out there that that are interested in BitCloud to understand where it is today, where it's going to go, and you know what risks are associated because it's not it's not free money either uh, at this point in time. Even if you know there's a ways to make a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, there's there's risk to the platform uh, that there's no official exit ramp, right? So whatever money you put in, there's no way to take it out right now. 
in terms of uh, in US dollar or Bitcoin, right? There's no way to cash it out right now, at least officially. There are OTC groups where you can cash out at a significant discount at the actual spot price. But that's also a great tip for anybody listening. If you want to buy BitCloud, you can actually buy OTC a lot cheaper. You can buy it for 40% lower right now. This is probably another opportunity that, that's not going to survive for long is to buy BitCloud at a lot cheaper right now, OTC, because there doesn't exist an offer. And wh where can you buy OTC? Uh, so you can join a Telegram group called BitCloud. It's t.me slash BitCloud. Okay. And that's, that's a community of all these... T.me slash Big Cloud is a community of all these Big Clouders. And in that, then there's diff they're linked to different groups. Uh, one of them was, is the OTC group. And I've already done multiple OTC deals for six figures in US dollars. And I paid half of what I, almost half of what I would be paying after so buying on the uh, Big Cloud Spot website. So just a, just a tip I'm dropping in there, right? Uh, but um, I know Mario just bought a bunch of uh, Big Cloud today, OTC, paid like 95 bucks versus paying 150 on the website. Wow. But this is short term. It's only till they're actually building off ramp, off ramp. The OTC market drives uh, dies away after that. But yeah, I mean, uh, that's a risk that everybody needs to take. I mean, obviously, it doesn't look like to me this is a scam, but you never know. Bernie Madoff ran the biggest Ponzi scheme, and he used to say was the head of the SEC, right? I mean, so it's hard to say, mate. Uh, but I am willing to take the risk that I'm willing to take because, like I said, I don't care if I if I lose all the money I put in, if this has a chance to go 100x, because this literally has the chance to go 100x. And I've invested in hundreds of companies. Like I said, I've invested in 100 plus private equity in startups where I actually own equity in the companies, not tokens. And um, this is one of the few companies that I've come across that I've seen has tremendous potential. Like it, it has potential to change how we know social media today. Reason being, most social media today runs on ad right? It runs an ad network. Google, Facebook get majority of the revenue from ads, right? Uh, it's Everything is an ad right now. And this we, we have the data. They're selling ourselves the data. But on big cloud, and there's no, there's, no, there's no quality control. It doesn't matter, right? There's too much spam. There's too much. We move from an age of information to an age of misinformation. But with big cloud, there's finally a way that I see that there's a power to change that, right? There's no ads on this platform, but every single post, by every single creator, is an ad for themselves. Mm -hmm. If I'm posting shit, you're just gonna unfollow me and I'm gonna buy my coin. If I post quality, if I add value to you with each single post, I'm advertising myself and you're gonna buy my coin. The more value I add for you, even though I post quality memes and I make you laugh, you're probably gonna end up buying my coin, right? right? Because I, I made an impact on you. <laughs> so that's that's what we're that's 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 a society is moving towards that, and I think. Moving from a totally ad-based social network to a quality-based social network is a very, very interesting uh, opportunity right now that we have with Big Cloud, and that's why I think it's one of the, the it's an amazing platform to get involved with. Now, my question to you, and this is <laughs> this is more, uh, I'm curious. So, I, as you saw, and that's actually, uh, first of all, thank you for 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 investing a little bit in my coin. I, I do appreciate that. Um, but I own I own six of your coins, right? Which is more than you own, weirdly enough. My question to you is, are you planning on buying any more Evan Luther coin? Uh, I, I, I want to buy my own coin, but I also don't want to take away because Big Cloud works, works on a bonding yield curve. Right. Right. It works on a bonding yield curve. So as far as the first few people who get in, they can get a lot more coins for a lot less. Uh, as, as, as the coins in circulation keep going up, the price goes up exponentially higher. Most creators are never going to have more than a thousand coins in circulation, because at that point, your coins valued in hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars to mill to another coin. So that's the way I see this. And I don't want to take away this opportunity from my followers right. by buying my own coin. I want to be able to add value back to my people. I have millions of followers, and this is a way for them to get a part of my shared success. I'm not doing big club for money. I mean, uh, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not trying to make money off my own profile. That's not my goal. I know I will grow up in value without a doubt eventually. As more people get on, 100% my value keeps going up. I know that without a doubt. I mean, just through my own followers, I see my value easily at 100K, right? But it's just a matter of time. They only just took up the password a couple of days ago or less. Right. But uh, yeah, I was going to make a new shout out today. And uh, so let people come in because I, I, before everybody was DMing me, they can't get in, they can't get in, they can't get in, right? So that, that's the way I see this. I mean, 
but I don't plan to buy my own coin and make it harder for my supporters to buy more of my own coins. Right. That to me, I'd rather go and buy a bunch of coins from other people. So like, I own more coins of Mario than he owns for himself. Right? <laughs> I know. I saw yeah. that. Yeah. So I'd rather invest in other people and help them and let other people invest in me because that's how I see the world going forward. Now, do you know, because uh, there's also this question of uh, who started BitClout, um, you know, who's investing in BitClout. From what I hear, there's a lot of VCs that put a ton of money into to BitClout. For the people out there that are skeptical, obviously, that want to know that there are people that are backing it, you have, no, you have more knowledge than obviously most. What do you know about or how can you kind of uh, at this point in time, see things that would assure you and point to it, uh, you know, not being the biggest scam under the sun. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. So, I mean, the way, the, what I can tell you is I can't go into too many details, uh, but what I can tell you is that some of the smartest people I know in the world, some of these smartest people who have, and I know a lot of smart people. I mean, I go to the World Economic Forum in Davos since I was 18. I celebrate my birthday there every, I mean, dozens of heads of states every single year, Fortune 500 CEOs, deans of the Ivy Leagues and all of them, I meet them every year on a, on a face-to-face basis, not online. So uh, I know some of the smartest people in the world and Big Cloud has some of the creme de la creme of those people. You know how I got into Big Cloud this is an interesting story. One of my friends, he's built two companies for multi-billion dollars that he got me into early and he's delivered a 10,000% return for me on my investment into his company. And he just randomly calls me up and he's like, this is, this is, I'm talking about the first week of March. And this is a, hey, Evan, I got an investment for you, but I can't tell you what it is. You want to get in? Do you trust me enough? I'm like, I trust you in my eyes close. How much money do you need? And I send him a few Bitcoins without even asking what it is for. Because this guy's already made me so much money. I don't need to think about him trying to run away with that money, right? right. And he's, he's, a, he's made multiple billions for himself. <laughs> So I, I sent him money and then a week later, he's like, this is Big Cloud and this is what you got into. You can thank me later. So literally that's how I got into it because, and, and this guy was, he thought of me because he knows every time he's with me, he has a, I make sure he has an amazing time. This ties back into how we started the conversation about enjoying life and right. posting this lifestyle. Now this guy works all the time. He works his ass off, right? That's why he's been able to build his two multi, multi-billion dollar companies. And, but every time he comes out with me, I make sure he has the time of his life. He enjoys and he makes sure I make sure he has, he only goes home extremely happy. Right. I'm that's that I make, I make that a commitment to myself. I'm not going <laughs> to let him have a shitty night or a shitty day. So that's why he, he thinks of me when he, when he came, came up, came across this opportunity. He, he didn't need to give me this opportunity. He could have taken all the allocation that he got for himself, but he still got me in, right? Right. And that and that ties into another one important thing I've always tell people is that most people remember how you make them feel. Right. They will forget what you say, what you did, but they will remember how you made them feel. So make sure, guys. If I mean, if you if you meet people, try to make sure you leave the leave the relationship making the other person feel amazing about themselves and amazing knowing you too. So that's how the relationships, I mean, I'm in the business of building relationships and long-term relationships, right. right? So that's that's where I stand and that's what gets me keep growing and that's how I look at it. But yeah, that's how I got into BitCloud is through somebody, one friend who was, who's one of the smartest people I know, most successful people I know, he's, he randomly calls me and says, there's an investment I can get into that he's getting in, that he knows a lot of other smart people who got in before him. Right. And so, yeah, so I mean, I don't see these many smart people being taken for a fool. But then again, there is one big factor here. Everybody who's invested till now that I know is smart, it would not make any difference to their lives if they lost all of this money. Right. Including myself, including Mario, including all these people I mentioned. It would make almost a neglig- negligible difference. You won't even see any difference. I'm going to have a little bit of a couple of minutes. Oh, shit, I lost all this money. I'm going to probably want a nice yacht or a nice building. <laughs> but like, uh, but it's okay. That, I, I know that. When I, that I knew that before I invested that I could lose everything I'm investing. Yeah, and I think that that's obviously uh, an important takeaway for people listening is, you know, uh, Consider it the same way that you would when you walk into a casino and you're going to play roulette that you're, if you're willing to lose what, what you're going to put down, then then maybe it is a, a good thing to get into. But definitely something to... Guys, but, but just be clear, this is not a casino. It's a place to build communities. 100%. And give value long-term and create magic. There's a lot of pumps and dumps that are happening right now. Every time there's something like this that grows so fast, there are people who find opportunities to make money my pump, I got. I, I mean, my coin went up to two thousand dollars and it got dumped by my earliest investor. I don't even know who that guy was. 
He had a random profile. He took my coin. I mean, he bought my coin early on. My coin went over $2,000. He dumped it. And I don't know what it's for right now. I think it's like $1,000. But it went down to $500 when he dumped it. So I got dumped 70% on these pump and dump guys, you know? Wow. So, like, so, I mean, uh, that's well, I, I bought I bought in at five hundred forty. So, <laughs> so there you go. So, so, it's, so you so you you got it. You got you got you got it. I, know, pump, I, I guess I have to thank that guy. <laughs> that, that's a great deal. That's a great deal for you. So I mean, so I mean, that's that's actually a little bit one of one of the other reasons why I'm not focusing so much on building my profile because right now in Big Cloud, it's too many pump and dumpers around. I know it's a lot of gamblers on there whose only focus is to make money and they, they don't care who you are. They don't care how much value you add to them. They're like, how can I make a quick buck? Uh, let me get rid of this guy before he pumps and I'll dump him as soon as I make a two X. So I, I would probably start investing a lot more time into my profile, maybe six weeks from now. I see an alpha coming in anytime in the next one month. Once they're an alpha then you see the real smart people putting in time and effort. Right. Uh, right. Actually. But yeah. But yeah, if you guys, if anybody gets in early, there's always that early mover advantage. There's a tremendous advantage to have that early mover advantage. Hundred percent. And I'll uh, I'll still, of course, uh, stay stay well invested in you because I do think that um, you know a lot of what you what you preach and and you know your investments and the fact that you're young and and proven and have that track record is is something important to to people like myself who are also you know I'm younger but um, that are getting into this, this world and this new, this new crypto age and learning about it, I think is, is important to hear from people like you as well. I want to wrap this up on a, on a different note. You talked about legacy early on. I always love to, to, to know what my guests think of, um, you know, if they think about their legacy, if they think about how they want to be remembered, how does Evan Luther want to be remembered when it's all said and done? I mean, I want to be remembered for, Everybody that knows me and is close to me for sure, showing them a great time, making sure that they always remembered and always had laughs. They always had an amazing time. And uh, for people that don't know me personally and the people that follow me, I want to be remembered for maybe inspiring them. You know, I want to mean that I, I was able to change their life in a significant way, inspiring them to be a better person of themselves. Right. Because I believe everybody in this world can achieve a lot more. I believe everybody has the potential and the opportunity to grow a lot more. And I want to, I want to be able to show that to them. I want to be able to show them and let them know. And also in, I want to be, I want to be remembered for building the companies that I build. And that's the reason I build them. I don't build them for money anymore. I could retire right now. Very well, very, very valuable position, but I keep doing what I do to be able to leave a legacy behind, to be able to bring in those big changes to disrupt industries as we know it. I want to be remembered for bringing in that level of disruption that change industries altogether for a better way, for a better life. Beautiful. Well, people can follow you on Instagram at Evan Luthra, evanluthra.com for all the information about yourself. It's a, it's a really well-designed site. Evan, uh, a true pleasure to have you on my show and to talk to you. If you're ever in New York and, uh, you know, I'd love to bring you in the studio or, or you know, when there's no more COVID and, uh, you know, maybe hit the club or something of that nature, I'm sure, I'm sure it would be a, a fun time. But, um, you know, I really appreciate definitely. you taking the time again, and uh, thank you. You're one of my supporters, so I definitely look forward to seeing you. I mean, I want to I wanna meet up all my top 10 supporters anyways. So that's, that's another way of Big Cloud. So as far as you stay my support, I'll see you next time in New York. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Evan. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at felix.levine, and if you have something to say, please leave a comment.